Hi, and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen, sponsored by TSET. I'm Heidi. I am here with Chef Val from OUTU School of Community Medicine. Always so much fun to have you because I learn a ton. Thank so we are, in the, we are in the thick of fall, even heading towards the holidays, Christmas. Um, what are we doing today? So we're making a very easy vegetable soup. We should have called it convenience vegetable soup e e because it it's be, so easy. Right? would be the better way to go, especially Apparently, being in the holidays. It's not easy to say, I guess. <laughs> So already in this pot, we have sautéing some, we've, we've used this in other segments, but it's onion, carrot, celery, pepper that you okay. can buy frozen chopped in the frozen section, obviously, and it's ready to go. Okay, so Perfect. you could you could chop your own vegetables, but I really wanted to make this a recipe that was like, just just get it in the right. pan. Right, like okay? throw it together so you can head out to the yes. next thing, especially with the holidays, because you're always a bit busier than usual. And so um, I've also added shredded carrots. So some of those frozen mixes have carrots. This one didn't. And so we just got sh uh, shredded carrots from the produce aisle. Okay. Okay. So you Perfect. just throw those in throw there. Throw them in there. They're ready to go. And then um, I'm using a fire roasted diced tomato. Okay. It's going straight in. Um, I'm not rinsing my beans this time because I actually want the juice. It's a little bit thick. Okay. And any kind of beans that you want to use, but we're using cannellini beans and garbanzo beans would be great. So again, this is something I know we've done before where depending on even what you already have, like right. you don't necessarily have to go out and get the specifics because things will work that you might already have in your pantry. Right. And it makes a lot of soup. So it's going to get two quarts of vegetable stock. Okay. And these are going to go right in there. Oh, it gets me excited. There's always like something with the colder weather where soup just tastes amazing. <laughs> this pot might not be quite big enough, but we're going to go ahead and put this frozen corn in there. Okay. And the only thing that you have to chop for this whole soup is the zucchini. And so I guess you could leave it out, but it really is delicious in there. Little better choices, getting the extra vegetables and making smarter decisions that are going to help you. Right. So when this all gets completely cooked, uh, or excuse me, when this comes to a bubble, we're going to stir in this spinach. But the thing that is important about this also is mm -hmm. that we're using this rotini red lentil pasta. Okay. Okay. And so instead of traditional pasta, this has um, fewer carbohydrates, more fiber, it's healthier, it has more nutrients, um, it cooks just the same, and it's going to go right into the soup. And you can see in our finished product, we already have the rotini in there. It looks so good. And again, those are just making those little changes that can make big differences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just jumping in because it's way too good to just keep looking at it. <laughs> yeah. And so this is going to store well in the refrigerator for a couple of days, but I will say that maybe cooking the pasta ahead of time mm -hmm. and then... Um, storing it in the refrigerator and then adding it right before because it does get it disintegrates. I mean, just like any kind of pasta, right? Does. It's going to get a little softer and yes. things like that. Yeah. This is a perfect meal, especially if you're heading out to your next event or shopping or whatever the case may be this time of year. So, if you want to learn more about this recipe or any of the other recipes, go ahead and head to kjrh.com.